Hello, Muster 0063 back for I Wanna Be Like Myself Part 4 and uh, more housekeeping, unfortunately. Um, well, just to address a couple of comment, comments, etc., that are kind of seem to be suggesting that I'm doing a pretty good job in, in here and that um, I can't, yeah, that, uh, which is a little bit kind of unexpected or, or, or whatever, or certainly on my part anyway. All I would say on that is, um, I say, I love this game, I've replayed it so many times, etc. Although Boshi is my favourite, I don't necessarily go back and replay that all that much. This one I do, or as much as I can do anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm fairly familiar with the game. I love it, and um, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's still going extraordinarily well. Let me just say that I did not expect in my wildest dreams for it to be going this well, but I'm less surprised than perhaps I would be against other games. So um, yeah, if it's, if it does look like I'm doing play well, then I've had a lot, a lot of practice and replays of this. Um, Secondly, this is I'm not quite sure how this is all going to work together, this video, etc. Because this is where my problems really flipping start. Area 4. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be lots of kind of little bugs and things, etc. to show off here. So it's going to be a bit kind of pieced together, etc. So apologies for that. But yeah, this is where this is where I finally show off why, why I've been tearing my hair out, unfortunately, from a recording software point of view in trying to do this game. So uh, at least let's try and let's, uh, let's kick on a little bit. Area 4. You're going for a ride here. Don't miss it. I wonder what happens if you stand on top of the manhole. Gotta love the classic games, but the boss here keeps a close eye on his prisoner. Might have to deal with him first. Did I mention he doesn't like bubbles, especially when they're big? So some more hints, etc., about the stage, etc., uh, about the stage and whatnot. So, um, and indeed the boss, etc. Although not really about who the boss is this time, um, but I've, I've got to think about his weakness. And uh, by the way, when we get to him, I will be using his weakness. Um, I have, believe it or not, beaten uh, the boss of Area 4 with just a regular gun on tree trunk mode, but oh my god, it nearly flipping killed me. I'm not doing that, I will be using his weakness, but um, anyway, we're still miles off, so let's demonstrate all the recording problems. And um, let's save here, and uh, we can, well, it's Turtles area, etc. But um, you can, I'm going to restart, obviously, at a certain point anyway, because I've now missed my platform, but there are uh, foot soldiers down there, etc., and... Uh, well, the easiest way to uh, to get through them is with the machine gun, and uh, I would certainly recommend that. But, um, well, here's what happens if I try to do that. Yeah, flipping great. Windows 8, whatever, etc. Doesn't allow machine gun fire on enemies or the game crashes. whoop de freaking do Okay, well, I'm nothing if not adaptable. Let's deal with the foot soldiers another way. Not the way I'd recommend, certainly, because uh, as you can kind of see now, uh, the freeze gun is not really going to get the foot soldiers out of the way. You're all going to have to kind of uh, maneuver around them uh, in the stage as well. But um, since I can't use the flipping machine gun to get to get rid of them, it's probably about the next best option. Um, possibly, I suppose, the bubble gun, but I'm not actually quite sure if that actually. Uh, works on these things, but, uh, yeah, oh well. Yay, okay, and uh, since these things are going to be in my way when I freeze them, I'm now going to resort to them back to the normal gun, um, and take these out, as otherwise they're going to be just a bit in my, too much in my way, but, um, and this isn't, this, yeah, for this last bit is not too bad on solid ground, etc. Why are you not dying, thank you. Um, unfortunately, though, all my effort is going to be completely in vain because, well, guess what, Windows 8? You're awesome, aren't you? So, yeah, it's actually frippin' impossible for me to complete this or complete this area on my computer because I cannot possibly avoid the Ra Raphael coming up through the manhole cover, breaking the ceiling, etc. Because every single time he does, the game crashes. There's nothing I can do about it. It's a forced thing that's got to happen. And, uh, yeah, the game won't let me progress. At least on my computer, anyway. So, I know what you're all thinking. Laptop time! So, this is me on my laptop. And... Well, I must admit, I'm a little bit surprised at how well this is running. Um, I don't know whether that's because I'm using a slightly different uh, 
recording uh, equipment are uh, now, etc. I've uh, I've uh, decided to ditch. Whoa! Oh no, no, no! Sorry, my controls are screwed. That's what's happening here. You can kind of see like I'm moving to the uh, yeah. You can kind of see I'm moving to the right here uh, continuously on this section um, while I'm on the platform, etc. Which is uh, really freaking annoying. And um, but yeah, at least. Um, at least the machine gun stuff um, is uh, working okay, but uh, yeah, I've got other problems with the uh, controls uh, working as they do. But um, yeah, what um, what was actually happening when I was doing this on uh, well, using CamSoft etc. was that it was effectively just lagging the hell out of it, so it was uh, basically um, impossible to kind of uh, impossible really to play the game with any degree of um, with any degree of um, competence whatsoever. So, um, hammer bro, don't screw me over, good. So, um, yeah, what I was kind of finding, I'm actually going to switch to the bubble here, actually, just to demonstrate a few things. I've flicked the wrong weapon and uh, got away with it somewhat. <laughs> Although that technique will work on, let me get rid of the Goomba if I can. Uh, Goomba, goodbye. See if I can get rid of you. Yep, that's uh, quite, that's quite handy. Um, yeah, what? But yeah, what was kind of happening on on here was that I was just finding it incredibly, uh, almost impossible to actually get through this area, um, because uh, again, because the just yeah, the way the recording was working was just um, making it bloody impossible to play. It was just lagging it so much. It was it was unbelievable, flipping unbelievable. Um, so um, yeah, I'm somewhat amazed that it actually has worked as well as it has done. And um, come on, don't lag now. There's no little trick at them at the end here, so yay! And uh, that's that area done. But um, yeah, well, um, I was expecting this to be to be problematic because I was expecting the same lag issues to be present, but um, apparently they're not. So um, yeah, not quite sure how this is going to work out. So uh, or, or, or well, not quite sure how this is going to affect things affect things later on in in, in the playthrough because there will be other areas that I have to going to have to tr uh, go back to my laptop, etc. But uh, yeah, I'm actually amazed that worked. So I was expecting to be able to talk to have to um, talk more about problems, but um, yeah, it's worked. So what can I say? Um, that should in fact be the end of the issues, at least for now, etc. So uh, yeah, bear with me. I will with that done. Amazingly quickly, I might add. <laughs> I will be back to my computer in just a second. Well, in case you couldn't tell that the fact that that actually worked on my laptop it threw me completely. I got rather flustered. Um, I might put up a little, not bonus kind of thing at the end, but to try to, to but to show off um, the CamSoft what what it what it does um, when I play when I try to record that game, just to show off why I thought I would have more problems. But yeah, actually, I so because I thought it wasn't going to work. I actually, um, my brother was very nice of uh, him to um, uh, give me his laptop for a brief period. Um, so that I could actually, because I thought I couldn't do it on my laptop either, as well as my computer, and actually have to play the game, at least this section, on my brother's laptop, etc. So, yeah, I borrowed that and was fully expecting to have to use it. But um, I can't, yeah, say it's completely thrown me for a loop, but that actually worked. I really can't believe it. But, yeah, I might try and show at the end of this video a demonstration of what the hell was going on and why I felt I actually needed to bother, bother borrowing my brother's laptop in the first place. But, oh, well, there you go. We've made it to boss four. Let's press on with it. Yep, doctor, 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 blah! And, um, well, he is weak to the, um, well, I would say he's necessarily weak to the bubbles, but you need to use the bubbles on the bombs, etc. He's gonna play a blah. Yeah, by the way, this boss is not gonna go extraordinarily well, or I'm not anticipating it will, I'm not anticipating it will, so, um, if you think it's been going well so far, I think this, 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 this one is where it's, it's gonna get that little bit irritating, so uh, yeah, you might have to bear with me on this one, or at least it will give me a bit more time to actually talk about things a bit more. Um, I have beaten this guy um, with just the regular, so, as I said in my kind of introduction to this third video, I have beaten this guy with just the regular gun, but oh my god, with the time limit, it flipped, or practically flipping killed me. Um, as this boss is going to do to me time and time again. So, um, yeah, what you want to do... Well, you want to not do that. You kind of want to... Um, uh, well, I don't know how to describe it, really. You kind of... If, where possible, you kind of want to probably just use your regular gun. Uh, up until the point where um, a, 
a, whoops, a, a, a bomb kind of comes down. In which case, when that happens, you want to grab the bubble, get the bubble gun. You don't want to hit the bomb. Bloody hell. You want to grab your bubble um, bubble gun and uh, capture the bomb, etc. And um, the bomb should uh, go flying off to wherever um, Dr. Ophagonicus is, etc. Depending on where he's on screen, it's not necessarily all that effective because sometimes he will just... Sometimes the bomb won't get anywhere near him um, by the time that he's actually um, fired, he's fired his weapons, etc. or whatever. Um, so uh, that can be a bit of a nuisance, but it's definitely the strategy you want to employ. Um, when he gets down to sort of certain health, um, I'm going to get him, I think. I'm going to get him, I think. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't believe it. Get away from him. You don't want that to happen. Um... I don't really need to rush for the rush for the teleport or anything, do I? I say bombs. Uh, this is one where I definitely would use his weakness. Um, well, here's the here's the uh, the book. This is the ship de whoop. Press five to select it. Destroy almost anything in one hit with this blaze of awesomeness. Why don't you try it out here? Uh, no thanks. I, I will. I will show it off at some point in time because there's an achievement for doing so. But on tree trunk mode, um, I don't want to do that boss again. So no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and since the recording is going to screw me over, yeah, I'm going to cut and then uh, we'll come back to the pause screen in just a second. Okay, I thought I'd have to, uh, more time to talk about the boss, etc. So that's, um, there are a couple of extra things I want to show off, but I'm on bitch mode now, etc. A couple of things that I can't necessarily show off on my laptop, etc. Oh, sorry, not my laptop now, I'm on my computer, etc. In terms of achievements and such like that, so I might as well show them off now before I go back to the boss. So, uh, yeah, first thing is, uh, what happens if you uh, stay on the manhole cover? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say about that. It's um, pretty funny. <laughs> I can't quite believe it was put into the game, but uh, yeah, it certainly made uh, it certainly made me uh, guffaw out laughing um, first time I saw it. So uh, yeah, thanks for that, Yo Sniper. Wonderful. And uh, yeah, I get an achievement for doing so. And uh, yeah, I couldn't obviously do it on my computer because the game crashes every bloody time. So uh, yeah. Um, a couple of other things to try and do now. Um, one of them, actually, an achievement is get by the Hammer Bro without killing it. So, uh, or clear the area without killing it. I don't know when I, exactly when I get the achievement. Um, let's hope it's at the end of it, etc. If not, I'll come back and do it. I'll also see if I can get by this area without uh, cheating, <laughs> in, in inverted commas, and uh, getting rid of the fire wave or anything. You, obviously, as you can see now, I can bounce on these Goombas, etc. So it's a... Uh, so yeah, they're not uh, too too bad. Um, I will still use the bubble gun on these uh, piranha, pl um, um, yeah, piranha plants coming out of the pipes, etc. Because they can be rather irritating. But um, yeah, hopefully when I get to the end of this bit, I should get an achievement for um, clearing the area without killing the hammer, bro. Or I don't know whether it's. Um, when you beat the area or whatever, I'm not quite sure, etc. But uh, anyway, there should be an achievement for that so it's coming at some point in time. Um, another thing is that the book at the front said that, well, the hostage is down to the left, etc. And um, in theory, I could go rescue him. But um, yeah, the thing said at the moment that I can't actually do it. So here's what happens if you do try. Yeah, Dr. Ocker comes in and kills you. So, um, yeah, um, not sure what else to say. I'm, I'm, I'm back at the boss now, so uh, I'll back at this area now. So again, I'll transfer it back to my computer um, and um, show off and talk about the boss a bit more in bitch mode. Okay, so here's the bitch mode version oh, of... Hey, it's a letter from my uncle. <laughs> not I want to be, it's my uncle. From uh, Dr. Octopus, and you can see again, you can see he's got um, a reduced health bar, etc. I'm probably not going to bugger about with the bombs um, so much this time around, etc. And maybe bleh, show off um, a few more of his moves, etc. So, he's kind of, um, the one you kind of wanted to do most often is probably, probably that one, because it gives you the most time to hit him. 
Um, the thing I always find really difficult, and it's, and it's always a problem, is um, which way he's going to, uh, which way he's going to move, or which way he's going to spew, etc. Um, there is supposedly a way of figuring it out, etc. But I've never been very good at doing it. So um, yeah, I just almost tend to rely not luck. But, um, you know, I tend to almost kind of get a few hits in on him, etc. And then kind of try and get out the way as much as I can. Um, he, say, the one, this, uh, this one is where he kind of like comes in and does, it, does his move quickly. Um, he could come in and do, well, this move, etc. This one, especially on tree trunk mode, or unless you are using bombs, of course, you don't really want him to use. Because you, can, you can't really hit him at all in that, in that, in that one. Um, or at least with the regular gun, anyway. So, um... Urgh. I shouldn't get too irritated because I'm only doing it on bitch mode now anyway. Oh, by the way, there, you can saw, by the way, that I got three hits on him there as he was just trolling off the screen to start off the fight. So um, if you feel cheap, <laughs> if you feel like you want to get a few, rattle a few shots off um, right before the fight even officially starts, then uh, be my guest. This guy is sufficiently annoying that I would uh, probably even recommend it. Um, but yeah, he, this is kind of a quick one. The other one where he kind of takes his time is, um, is a preferable because you can get lots more hits in on him, etc. But... Um, he then does his kind of blah move for a lot longer, and that can be a bit more tricky to dodge. Um, the other thing... Does he actually do any more moves? I can't remember. Um, oh, no, the other thing I wanted to mention, um, which is definitely worth definitely worth mentioning, well, is that you can see that the blocks here are starting to become slightly lighter in cut. Oh, you're joking me. What? That's never happened before. <laughs> oh. Okay, so apparently I can get screwed over by the, uh, by the, uh, window, by Windows 8 and, uh, in this boss as well. I was not expecting that. Just more a flavour of the recording issues. Although, for I say, that didn't really affect, um, me before. I mean, so, um, I wasn't banking on it, etc. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of an inc a bit of an incidental thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what on earth triggered that, frankly. Um, given that the tree trunk mode fight, and indeed the rest of the bitch mode was absolutely fine. So, um, yeah, if it does happen, oh well, it's something else to worry about. Um, yeah, I was going to mention the uh, platforms. So, um, and what makes this enormously difficult on tree trunk mode is that after he does his blah move so many times, um, the platforms will disappear. They will get um, eroded over time, and uh, they will disappear. So, um, on tree trunk mode, where you've obviously got more hits to get in on him, and he's got more opportunity to do this move, then um, the platforms will go away and that will make it incredibly difficult to, you know, position yourself on screen in decent positions to avoid his blah move. So um, there's that kind of added concern to worry about as well. Um, once he gets down to about, well, I don't know, maybe, um, for, what, how long has he got here? 40. Um, let's say 75% of his health down. I think the sp I think around that around about that point in time anyway, um, the spikes all of a sudden start launching as well. So that's something else you need to pay attention to. Um, so for instance, there was one I needed to watch out for. Um, one other thing I haven't mentioned as of yet is oh, you kidding me? Oi, oi, oi! One thing I haven't mentioned yet is the fact that he can appear from any of the four corners of the screen. So. Um, you never know, or at least I can never tell which corner he's going to emerge from, etc. Um, generally, I'd like to be kind of high up because that offers me the opportunity to die. Um, but it offers me the opportunity to get down low and hit him if I so wish. It's easier to fall down to a, to his level than try and jump up the platforms, etc. So I tend to I tend to try and position myself um, uh, high. But, um, Ideally, obviously, I don't want him to appear on the side of the screen where I am at as well, because obviously that means I need to get out of the way a bit more. Bugger. Um, yeah. If he does appear down, then obviously I can drop down, but yeah, it's um, around about the middle, probably. One, one of the, well, the platform I'm either on now, or the other one, obviously, on the left-hand side, would probably be my preferred uh, position. All things considered equal. Um, his blur move can go on for... Um, any length of time. By the way, he just came in the middle there, so possibly ignore what I said about the four corners. He just came in horizontally there, so he may also do that as well. And he's done it again now. Thank you for the demonstration. Um, yeah, his blur move, particularly on this phase, does go on for kind of like a, a, a fairly, what looks like, random period of time. Um, not quite sure if there's any definitive length of time that, that goes on for. Hopefully this is enough to get you. 
and uh, getting miles away from you again. Yeah, the bomb explosion will kill you. Hopefully this is far enough away. And hopefully it doesn't crash on me. Thanks. Um, oh, well, let's see if I can go back to the left, because I want to show off um, I want to show off something. Um, so let's see if I can go back to the left. Yes, I can. Save, and hopefully that will register. Yeah, because um, although I'm still going through this on bitch mode, I wouldn't necessarily mind beating the boss. I don't really... Both boss again on bitch mode. I don't really want to do it. So uh, let's just progress through and... Um, well, why don't you try at the shoot the whoop out in this room? Now that I've saved and hopefully don't have to do the boss again, let's. Yeah, obviously you could position yourself in this room so that you could form the shoot the whoop. I, for instance, if you're standing on one of the little um, staircase, etc., and facing toward the staircase, you'll get propelled and you won't land on Spike. But uh, you only get the achievement if you actually uh, hit a spiker there. And as you can see, there's a nice little, uh, instead of the game over message, there's another nice message there instead. Um, I'm hoping, yeah, indeed that has registered that the, uh, the boss was done. So, uh, yeah. So, more recording problems with, uh, I wasn't expecting the, the boss to crash on this one. So, uh, that's uh, something else to factor in. And, uh, yeah, that's probably about all there was for Area 4, Video 4. I may show, I may go and post the... Um, the uh, stupid thing that my laptop was doing, which made me think I would have to get my brother's laptop's help, etc. So that may be there. Um, it'll only be a little tiny addition to the end anyway, just to demonstrate it. So uh, if it's there, it, uh, if there, if, and it's, and it's um, screwing up, I will show that. Uh, if not, then I won't. So um, yeah, I'll say my goodbyes now. That was area four. Tune in next time when um, is it? Is this Let's Play finally going to fall apart? Four areas have gone extraordinarily well. Is area five where I finally, finally start getting my arse handed to me? Yeah, hope to see you next time. Cheerio.